Hey Maricopa, my name is Luis Vila, your communications coordinator for the city of Maricopa. I'm here with Paul Shirk, president of the Maricopa Historical Society, and we've got something special for you guys here today. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but we are we got a really cool 360 camera inside the California Zephyrs train, and you guys can actually scroll around and take a look at all angles while we conduct this interview. But I'm not gonna speak for the man himself. Paul, please tell us what, where we are and why is it so important. Here in the central room of the Silver Horizon, which was a dome observation car on the California Zephyr that ran from Chicago to Los Angeles. In speaking with that, we have managed to donate, have donated to us by Herm Neuberger, a model that he worked on for almost 30 years of that city of Chicago. He wanted it uh, immoralized and he wanted it in a place where people, kids of all ages, could take advantage of that. So we went to uh, Herm's place and dismantled it, rebuilt it here uh, in another format. And now we will have a railroad club, model railroad club in Maricopa, that kids of all ages, youngsters all the way up to people of my age, that can come and run their trains. It'll also give them an idea of what Chicago looked like in the era that this was, you know, king of the road. She was the silver lady. Mm -hmm. And a lot of our residents, I know for sure, will recognize some of these landmarks over here. A lot of details gone to us. Do you know about how long it took to actually build and bring this thing up? He worked on it, like I said, about 30 years. And that was his passion, that was his hobby. To take it apart, dismantle it itself, took us four different weekends, four guys working. And we've been working on it in here now for a good six months to lay new track and electrical so that it could be up and operating and something that everybody could come and see and get excited about trains. Well, it's very, very exciting. This is not the only thing that's currently being worked on right here. A lot of restorations going on. So what else is happening within the, uh, the train to get things ready for some guests to come in? Today, we're excited because they're putting carpet. So that's one of the steps that we wanted to do, but we had to do the electrical first and the air conditioning which meant taking off interior panels. But now that we've got them all back up, we're taking that final stage of putting the carpet in. After that, we will look at the fine details and then bring it in displays that show the railroad history and its part here in Arizona. This car did run through Arizona. People had sometimes were like, well, why do we have the car that went from Chicago to LA? That was its first life. When Amtrak came in, they took the car over, almost all the stainless cars, and it ran from Chicago down to Texas. Then eventually it wound up on the end of the Sunset Limited that ran from New Orleans to Los Angeles. So it did run through Phoenix. It is a part of our history here. Plus it was a railroad depot here. And so it's we're glad that it's gonna be a part of the big heritage district that the city is developing. And it will fit into that and we'll have a lot of things in the park that we're working with the city that will tell our history. <laughs> Oh, incredible. Well, and before we sign off, I know a lot of people are going to be asking us, any potential ETAs for when we'll finally be able to open get this open and get the public and community to come on through? It all depends on the development of the park and how that comes, how this fits in with the overall heritage district and the access to the park. So as we work with the city on that, that timetable will depend on when we open up. Well, that is incredible. Thank you so much, Paul. Sure. This has been an incredible tour. We love seeing everything here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hey, for more developments and what's happening in your community, please visit www.whatsnewmaricopa.com.